Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Cloud Gate Chicago. Bet you never knew a giant shiny bean could be so interestingly beautiful did ya? Well it is so check it out. Who doesn't love it? The famous Chicago Cloud Gate, or as is often called the bean is a public sculpture made of 168 highly polished stainless steel plates giving the appearance of liquid mercury. It looks like enormous magical futuristic mirror. Even though the construction looks simple, don't let it fool you, the original cost estimate was 9 million, but project complications led to a final cost of 23 million. The only problem is that it's practically impossible to take any nice pictures since everyone else visiting it is trying to do the same, and the bean shape offers some kind of comfort to me because a bean is just a small thing, but this is something quite the opposite called nicknamed the bean. Exciting attraction in the middle of Millennium Park which has become a must-go for every tourist, and close proximity to other big tourist destinations around. Sure, Eta Euro TMS a tourist attraction, but Eta Euro TMS also one of the great works of public art, that Chicago is known for. Great location, tons of tourists, and local were all around to see it so it's super crowded like the castle in Disneyland, but it doesn't matter where you take a pic in front of it, it'll be worth the memory. Lovely view of the city reflected on the west side of the bean, and great, and different sculpture to see in Chicago. This is a must-see if you are visiting this spectacular city. There is a good view of skyline, and nice clean atmosphere. Not sure how to sum up this visit, but seeing this landmark was part of a cathartic journey for me. The surface despite its daily battle with the sun was cool to the touch, and the many hands who've touched it before me on that day left their mark a salute to the beauty of its sacrifice. It has so many visitors that it may take a long time to get a picture with it, but it's worth a visit. The idea that so many panels of steel were welded together then ground down, and polished to a mirror finish is impressive. It does get really crowded which in turn may mean a long wait, so be sure to either eat first, or bring wear season appropriate clothes to make sure your visit is an enjoyable one. The reflections of the city skyline in the cloud gate, or bean are perfect for making that one-of-a-kind vacation selfie. The bean is a marvelous sculpture to witness, especially on a sunny day when the reflection is very clear, and showcases the skyline well. Have you even been to Chicago if you haven't been to the bean? Free skating if you own your own skates in the winter, and always movies, or shows going on in the summer. Such a good place to go with friends, or by yourself. The Cloud Gate aka the bean may be the most iconic thing people think of when Chi-Town is mentioned other than perhaps Sears Tower. It's free. And Terry's no line to take pictures so check it out as you can't say you've been to Chicago without coming here. This amazing piece of art really shows how amazing the city of Chicago is, and how everyone should be beyond ecstatic to visit a city with such amazing art, considering Chicago has the number one art museum in the United States. It's a fun sight, and beautiful to see in the fall when all the trees are changing color in the park. All you can say is that the pictures don't do it justice if you get a chance you should go there and check it out for yourself. Amazing piece of art sculpture that attract massive crowds. It's named the bean because of its shape, and besides people's handprints within arm's reach it's a highly glossy, and reflective surface which provides visitors with endless pictures of themselves, the city, and the surroundings. You can't resist from taking pictures here, and the surrounding offer so many things to see, and the area also holds a lot of events so remains pretty crowded most of the times. A lot of people were taking pictures with the sculpture, but it doesn't bother anybody who's trying to take a picture too inside, or outside. A definite place to stop, and visit while in Chicago, but really not much to do, and see here other than the bean. Very cool attraction with seeing your reflection in the curves of a very large chrome bean. A must-see while in Chicago. During peak times, it's extremely packed with people, but if you go earlier in the day, or at odd hours you'll have more room. Cloud Gate is a public sculpture by Indian-born British artist Sir Anish Kapoor, that is the centerpiece of a plaza at Millennium Park in the Loop community area of Chicago, Illinois. The sculpture, and its plaza are located on top of Park Rill, between the Chase Promenade, and McCormick Tribune Plaza Ice Rink. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.